may adlaw na tong tanan. Do you wake up with a lot of neck pain or back pain or shoulder pain? Or you thought that it is just a normal aging that you're getting those body aches even though you did not do any strenuous activity and you just went to bed? If you do, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist and I also specialize in positioning and proper body mechanics. And my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. One of the most common complaints that I get is body ache. And this is usually from patients that I see in the mornings. I would ask them if they did any strenuous activities or over-exercise the day before. Usually they would say no. And so I will ask them how they slept. And they would say good but what i really meant was what position they slept on whether they slept uh, on their side or on their back or on their belly in this video i'm going to share to you the best sleeping positions so that you won't have those neck pain your back pain or your shoulder pain and so if you find this video helpful please click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell give it a thumbs up and share this to your family and friends okay and the first and foremost tip for the best sleeping position is one that gives you the best comfort where you are comfortable in that position and the one that gives you proper body alignment, meaning the back or your spine is aligned, okay? And so try to get you a good mattress and invest on pillows, okay? So you need to change your mattress every eight to 10 years. So consider checking how old your mattress and invest on good pillows. But there's one position that you need to avoid if you can, and that is sleeping on your belly or your stomach, okay? I'm going to show to you why it is not a good idea, all right? So when you sleep on your belly, yeah, some of you might find it comfortable, but when you sleep on your belly, the tendency is your head is going to be on the side. And so when you wake up, you will have a stiff neck, all right? So you will, this will be strained, this will be compressed. You can't sleep like this with your head down, otherwise you won't be able to breathe, right? So it is not a good idea to sleep on your belly. But if you must, try to get to a thinner pillow and put it under your belly for support, okay? When you are sleeping on your belly or your stomach, everything here is compressed and your lower back is going to have an excessive curvature. So you don't want that. If you really need to sleep on your belly, just use a pillow under you, all right? And, but, please try to avoid this position, all right? So the next position that we are going to discuss is going to be side sleeping, all right? What you need to have is a pillow that is thick enough as much as possible where the width or the thickness is equal to the width of your shoulder. If you have a very thin pillow, your neck will be hanging out to the side. But if you have a very thick pillow, see your, your neck will be positioned correctly and like this. So you need to have a pillow that is equal to the width of your shoulder to support your head to keep your spine aligned or your back aligned, right? So get your a pillow that is thick enough. Next is putting a pillow. I know this is like an overkill, but trust me, this helps. Putting a pillow between your legs because if your knees are together, your hip is going to roll forward, right? So that is not a good position again. Putting a pillow there will keep, will keep your hip in neutral position, thereby your lower back is also in neutral position. And for the waist area, you can use, a, again, a 
thinner pillow. Like that. Or, if that is too thick, get you a fold up throw. Right? And that should give you support there. And another pillow between your arms so that your shoulder and your chest are not compressed like this. Okay? Trust me with this one. It might look like an overkill, but this works. All right, so like that if you're side sleeping. Or you can also get you a body pillow, right? So invest in good pillows, maybe multiple ones, because that will provide you really good support. All right, so if you are a back sleeper, you don't need a really thick pillow anymore. But the one that gives me the, the best support is a my pillow. I'm going to provide you a link down below in the comment section where to get it. Reason why I like it is because you can flop fluff it to make it thicker and provide support around your neck. Okay? Like this. If your neck and if you have a real thick pillow, your neck will be protruding like this. But if your pillow again is real thin, your head is going to be pushed back. All right? And that will result to a lot of snoring. You don't want to be snoring a lot because your partner might kick you out of the bed or elbow you if you have somebody beside you, right? So please get you a good pillow that will provide good neck support fluff it where you have support under here and on your head right and again for the lower back get you a folded up throw for good support there and maybe two pillows or one if you have a pillow that is thick enough under your knees so that your lower back is supported and the muscle that runs from the lower back going to the front of your thigh is also relaxed. That is your psoas muscle. You don't want it to be contracting a whole lot. So keeping your knees bent like that will give you the proper body mechanics, the proper body alignment when you're sleeping on your back. Okay? And the neck support and head support which is not tilted back or like this will also prevent you from snoring too much okay so this is how you try to position yourself while you are sleeping on your back all right oh i forgot i'm going to do the attendance check but this time around i would like you to type down below what position you sleep on usually and what kind of body aches you are experiencing when you wake up all right so just type down below your favorite sleeping position and what body ache you might be experiencing the morning after all right and so i hope that you understand what we did there sleeping on your side having a pillow uh thick enough that it is equal to the length or width of your shoulder supporting your waistline or your lumbar area and having pillows between your legs and arms so that you won't have those body aches and if you sleep on your back have a good pillow that supports your neck and your head but not making your head tilt back or protruded forward like that and keeping your knees slightly bent okay if you have any questions suggestions or comments just type it down below. I'm going to answer all of them as soon as I can. And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time. Palam!